This week on Machine Repeat TV, we travel to Keemar, Maryland for the Bill McGrew auction, where this 1998 John Deere 7810 absolutely smashes the record price. Student projects become museum masterpieces in Missouri. And Pete looks back at a November weekend with some historic auction action. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at TheTireGrabber.com. Hey folks, welcome to the East Coast. We are in Keemar, Maryland today for Machinery Repeat TV. And what drew me out here to Maryland was the farm retirement auction for Bill McGrew. Now Bill has some amazing low hour tractors. And we're gonna do a little quiz up front in the show here for you faithful viewers. Which of these three tractors of Bill's do you think is gonna be the hottest on today's show? A 7810 John Deere with 914 hours? Or what about a 75 model 4230 with 2015 hours? Or a 2004 pre-def, pre-tier 4 7320 with 2400 hours? Now make your guess, stay tuned. We'll find out the answer, but first we gotta go back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Changes are coming to the John Deere Waterloo plant as the company moves some of its production to Mexico. Now this comes from the Des Moines Register, it reports that tractor cab production is headed to Mexico in 2024. Now the reason Deere gives is due to a tight labor market and the need to make room and floor space for new products to be built there. The company says the number of employees impacted will depend on production volumes and employee attrition over the next couple of years. Reaction is pouring in after the EPA officially announced new rules regarding the renewable fuel standard and finalized the biofuel blending requirements. Starting with renewable fuel levels for this year, EPA setting the number at 20.63 billion gallons. That's down from the 20.77 billion originally proposed, but it left conventional ethanol at 15 billion gallons. EPA also moving to officially deny all 69 small refinery exemption waivers as it said it would do back in December. EPA is now trying to make 15 billion gallons of ethanol actually mean 15 right. billion gallons. And, uh, you know, rather than follow the law, I think EPA followed the courts because they, they were kind of <laughs> directed of that. And, you know, when you looked at the responses from the ethanol promoted uh, groups, uh, they didn't, not many, uh, you know, complained at all. And that'll tell you, yeah, you know, the answer to how they feel. Wiesmeyer says the EPA is now working on plans for next year's levels. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Folks, on Machinery PTV, I like to bring you the occasional time machine, and we've got one here. You're not going to want to miss this thing sell. It's a 75 John Deere 4230, 2015 actual original hours on it. Well, folks, you know me, I sound like a broken record here these last five years, but when it comes to good used tractors, it seems like everybody wants a low hour pre def, pre tier 4 model. We have that here in an 04 John Deere 7320, 2400, and 34 hours on it. Now, coming into the sale, the highest auction price I've ever seen on a 7320 sold without a loader. 75,250 bucks two years ago on an auction in Floyd, Iowa. That thing only had 330 hours on it. 
Please tell me yes or no, sir. 84, 82, 5, 84. You're in, sir. 82, 5. Now 4. 82, 5. Now 4. Sold it. 82, 5. You got her, sir. Hey, folks. I'm here with uh, Greg McGrew, CEO, President of McGrew Equipment Company. Now, Greg, you grew up in the equipment business. Yes, sir. Uh, working as a kid with your dad, Bill, on the construction side. Is that yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then um, when I was in, I think, Sixth grade, he bought a farm, and we kind of farmed on the side. But uh, I've been around equipment. Uh, I think there's a picture in my office of me, four years old, on a 310B that Dad bought brand new uh, while he was digging a ditch. So I've been around it all my life. Equipment is in your blood. Yes, for sure. Now, how about McGrew Equipment Company? Um, how long has have, has your company been around? Uh, I started in 1999, uh, June 15th of 1999. Okay. And so, weekly auctions, Seven Valleys, Pennsylvania? Yeah, we have weekly auctions in Seven Valleys, Pennsylvania um, every Tuesday. Um, they're open to the public, can come, and we kind of sell off a TV screen now with the change of technology, right. or people can stay home and bid online, or we have a lot of guys that actually bid over the phone. Hmm. So we'll call them when we're, you know, if we're selling this tractor, we'll call them, and we'll have four or five guys there, and they'll just throughout the day call people and bid on the phone. And at this point, Greg, all your years in the equipment business, what excites you? The most looking ahead about you know selling equipment and, and being in the auction business um the unknown embracing the unknown yeah embracing the unknown just the opportunity of it just or? the opportunity of it um it's uh just when you think it's you kind of got it figured out it changes you know um last year we switched to the virtual auction and everything was rolling and bobcats were rolling in and we were selling them and everything was good and now this year we hit the supply chain shortage so it's put a whole nother spin on the business and it's it's challenging but it keeps you on your toes because you've, you've got to constantly figure out and you know they say if you can't change you're not gonna be around long and this business kind of kind of makes you change. Well folks John Deere made the popular 4230 model from 1973 to 77 and if we talk the highest auction prices I've ever seen uh, I've seen a number of rare low profile open station models in that 40,000 to just over 50,000 now on a regular 4230, the highest I've ever seen is 36,000. But just a week ago today, in Austin, Indiana, we saw a 4230 with 2,665 hours sell for 30,000. Today, we got a 75 model, only 2,015 hours on it. I get 25, 30, get 25, 30, now 5, get 30,000, now 35, internet all the way, boys, 30,000, now 35, get 35, now 40, 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 35, 37, 5, get 35,000, now 37, 5, 35,000, now 36, get 35,000, now 36,000, now 35,000, now 36, come on, get 36,000, now 37,000, now 37,000, now 37,000, now 37,000, now 36,000, now 37,000, now 36,000, now 37 down dollar 37 down dollar 36 thousand dollar 37 36 thousand dollar 37 36 thousand dollar 37 37 36 thousand dollar 37 so 36 thousand here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. It's 68 5 69 third and final call Delaware 69 thousand Sold it. She's headed to Westminster. 68, 5, 4, now 4, now 4. Last and final go. $84,000. You bought them. $82,500. 10, 7 and a half, now 11, now 11, now 11. Anybody else want to play? 10, 7 and a half, now 11. You bought them. $10,750. Pretty dark, Karen. Pretty dark. You want to give 81? $8,000, 81. Anybody else want to play? $8,000, 81. You bought them. $8,000. Buyer number looks like. 34.
Well, I tell you folks, Saturday, November 20th, 2021 is a day I won't soon forget. I think the hottest day I've ever seen for auction prices. And you know, usually it's pretty easy for me at the end of the day to say, boy, this was the sale of the day, but not Saturday, November 20th. So on an El Paso, Illinois sale on that day, this 1986 John Deere 4450 two-wheel drive with 5,391 hours on it sold for 49,500 bucks, fifth highest auction price ever on a two-wheel drive 4450. So that must be the sale of the day, right? Well, no, because over in Grover Hill, Ohio, the same day, this uh, 1992 John Deere 4455 mechanical front with 3,628 hours on it, sold for 86,000 bucks on a farm retirement auction, second highest auction price ever on a 4455 sold without a loader. And oh, by the way, that same sale had this 2014 John Deere 1590 20-foot no-till drill bring 52,000 bucks record high auction price ever on a 20 foot 1590. So the Grover Hill, Ohio sale must be the sale of the day? Well, no, because over in Carlisle, Indiana, my good friends at uh, Jeff Boston Auction Service had an online farm retirement auction for Joe Clements. And check this out, folks. They had a 2013 John Deere 8335R, only had 338 hours on it, but it went for 317,000 bucks. That is a record high auction price by $82,000. Previous high of 235 was back from February of 16. And on the same sale, they had this 2007 John Deere 8430, 1,501 hours on it, went for 221,000 bucks, record high auction price by 18,500 bucks over the previous high from 10 years ago. And oh, one more thing, they had this 97 model John Deere 8100, 2,811 hours on it for 100,000 bucks, fifth highest auction price ever on a John Deere 8100. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, you're gonna enjoy our visit to the Ozarks of Missouri to check out a very unique tractor museum. These tractors were all restored by students at the School of the Ozarks. Now they are proudly displayed in this museum at the edge of campus in Point Lookout, Missouri. The museum uh, was kind of started as a, a passion of Mr. Gatz. He uh, inherited a lot of these tractors. A lot of people gave him tractors because he owned a tractor business. And so we have around 30 tractors and a lot of different implementation uh, implements here in uh, a lot of tractor seats, a lot of farm memorabilia, anything to do with farming we have here in the Tractor Museum. About 80% of them came to us completely unrestored, uh, some of them came partially restored, and then uh, two or three of them came completely restored. These probably only cost $1,200 when they were bought brand new, and it, it was a different time, and kids can see that, and they see the, the amount of craftsmanship involved in putting these tractors together. The case tractor that we have that's over here behind me, it's one of the few examples of the original case emblem of Old Abe, which is the, the bald eagle, but it's the only representation we have of a case tractor here in the shop. So right here we have a John Deere B. It's a 1950 model, and it's actually a later model. And the reason I like this one, I like this tractor is, um, it has a six-speed transmission, which is, only found on the mid to late models and then it also has a pressed steel frame uh, was also a later modification we have had a few donated uh, that were restored but most have actually been restored um, by staff and students here at the college find farm equipment on machinery pete's june 21st online auction start bidding now at auctions.machinerypeat.com Find farm equipment on Machinery Pete's December 21st online auction. No reserve, no buyer fees. Start bidding now at auctions.machinerypeat.com. Okay, folks, time for our feature item on the show today. This is why I travel from Minnesota out to Maryland. A 1998 John Deere 7810, 914 actual hours on it. Now some interesting facts on 7810s for you. What would you guess is the most clicked on model over 175 horsepower for sale at machinerypeat.com? A 7810. The highest auction price I've ever seen on a 7810 came earlier this year on a sale in Essex, Ontario, 137,600 bucks. Think we'll get close today? I mean, the tractor kind of speaks for itself, you right. know what I mean? If, right. you, if you see it, it's, 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 it's a nice tractor. Right. And it's a 98 model? Yep. Yep. Are you going to shed a tear when it's, when it's sold, Bill, or not? No, nah, I don't think so. I mean, I, I liked it, but like I said, you know, it's time. Time for a new owner. Yeah, it's time for a new owner, and it's time. I hope somebody takes good care of it. Or it, when, it when it leaves there, it's none of my business, but I hope somebody takes care of it. I mean, it's had, it had a real good first home, and it had a real good second home, right. I'd say. 
Get a hundred on the money, a hundred and twenty-five. Get a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred and twenty-five, a hundred and twenty-five, a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred and twenty-five. You got a week hard to sit down, boys with a wild bill, now fifty. Get a hundred and twenty-five, hundred and fifty thousand, hundred and twenty-five, hundred and fifty. Get a hundred and twenty-five, hundred and fifty thousand dollars, a hundred and thirty, hundred and seventy-five. Turn around, hundred and seventy-five. Get a hundred and fifty, hundred and seventy-five, hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy. Get a hundred and sixty thousand dollars, a hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Get a hundred and sixty thousand dollars, a hundred and seventy. Get a hundred and sixty thousand dollars, a hundred and seventy thousand dollars, a hundred and seventy thousand dollars, a hundred and seventy. $100,000, $160,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000, $170,000,
For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com.